So now, this one might be a little bit closer to the attendees here in the room. Beam Explorer for SQL Server. This one's new, and we actually haven't yet announced it on Twitter or the blog or the forums or such. Early next month, we have our proper organizational announcement coming for this feature, but we wanted to show it to you guys here first. Can I get a thank you? Thank you. Yeah, okay, Amen. cool. Woo. So this is kind of a, kind of a, a SQL along with the Exchange, I think, are some of those passionate or you know, religious issues in a way almost sometimes dealing with the DBAs to the storage admin and then the VMware person sitting in the middle. You know, they're brokering arguments, right? And you guys have been there. I know you have. And the best part is, it's like, where do I put my log volumes? Where do I put my data volumes? This discussion is not new. And a virtual <laughs> or not, it is not going away. Okay? So I think that what I'm going to show you here is really cool. Now, again, 27 different ways out of a jam. If I'm a SQL Server person, and I, I've been working on SQL Server for a long time. I was a DBA of sorts for a special line of business application. So, you know, early on I couldn't even spell SQL. Now I'm, I'm pretty good with it. <laughs> yeah, you got the joke. Good. That's all I got. But basically, there, there was a contentious issue today with the product Veeam and hardcore DBAs about I have SQL Server maintenance plans. I have SQL Server agent jobs. I want point in time recovery. I know the app well enough to do it. Now, I'll be honest with you, I cannot convince that person that my tool may be better than their excellent script. I'll just be straight up honest. I can't. 80% if, 80 of the DBAs I ever dealt with insisted on running their SQL dumps exactly. and having my backup software pick that up. And then how many times have they ever done a point in time recovery? Never. Exactly. Thank you, Howard. That's the, that's the problem, right? Well, if you pick the point in time where the image was made, <laughs> well, you're point in time from a data, like like uh, hours, minutes, seconds, dot. That's yeah. what I mean. But as long as you only want the points in time when you take the images, right. you're great. Now, <laughs> I, I know how to balance a conversation, right? I deal with a lot of people with these interesting topics. And when it comes to uh, SQL, I really deal with people who are, deal, are, are doing both. And, and basically, sorry, I, I hit the clicker wrong. When I say they're doing both, they're taking an image-based backup because honestly, the problem might not be their data. It might be the binaries of SQL Server, which their script doesn't address. It might be a bad Windows update. It might be a bad, uh, um, maybe somebody changed something like outside of it, like, like security, right? It, whatever the problem is, you gotta have ways out of a jam. So the takeaway is, Howard had people who script it, and then an hour, uh, you know, an hour later, a different time, an image-based backup can happen. Now that's great if you have a DBA. A lot of people don't, so they may not have to. Now I'm not saying that this tool will throw away these scripts, but I'm saying if you don't have a DBA, you would be surprised what you can do with what I'm about to show you. So the Veeam Explorer for SQL Server is going to introduce a capability with transaction log replay to deliver point in time recovery of an agentless image based backup. This is kind of like, you know, if you're a, C a SQL DBA, I'm not looking at Twitter right now, but this could be a big deal for uh, maybe the SQL Server DBA who wants an additional tool in their arsenal. Maybe the uh, one person shop who doesn't have a DBA, right? But maybe they love all the good benefits of this image based backup we have yet they want these additional features. You never want to say no to recovery options. I think we all can agree to that. You've got to have ways out of a jam. So what we have here, um, I'm going to talk to these slides. I tried to make them pretty, but I really couldn't. Um, but basically, we set RPOs at the database level for individual database, not SQL Server instance, not SQL Server VM. It's very much aware. So we'll set, um, and what's going on down here is SQL Server instance name, database name, transaction log pickups. Uh, pickups is a loose term, but basically what we're doing is we're using our Veeam proxy, which is very important. The Veeam proxy is coming in and running a, a native SQL script in a kind of a runtime and go away, much like VSS, the way we use our native VSS requester to talk to application VSS writers, much like that comes in and does what it needs to do and goes away, 
this SQL Server agent, uh, the SQL Server transaction log backup is coming in, moving logs to the repository, and, and there's really no changes, which is why those are four seconds. But it comes in and does this as a sub job, and it, it re repeats that it was successful, uh, it took 71K of transaction logs. So we have this thing called a sub job, is basically what it is. So we have this full image based backup, then we have this sub job that is moving transaction logs. That's honestly, the backup's not that interesting, right? All I care about is green, right? That's all I want. I want it to work. So where, what happens? Let's take a little bit closer look. We have these, uh, right now, these two columns are not there, okay, in the UI. That's the beauty of this feature. There's very few changes to the UI, and honestly, you'd have to like go in and say, do SQL stuff or do exchange stuff that I'll talk about in a second to get these extra benefits. And what happens here, I'm backing up logs, and I can say skip that and still do log truncation, but the real benefit here is backup logs every 15 minutes or some configurable number and then retain them to my specified rules. Ideally, I can build it up here in Veeam that says I want to keep within that, that SLA on that previous screen, if I want to keep uh, 15 days of SQL Server log backups, supplement that with, I'll uh, just make up a number, 28 days of an image-based backup. Think of the, the options you have for recovery. If you just need a, uh, a SQL Server table brought back, if you just need the whole MDF, you can do that. If you need to dial it to a specific one of these 15-minute uh, marks, you can do that. It's very, very flexible. And when it comes to the restore, again, these are screen mockups because it's in uh, before preview at this point, before beta. Basically, those time frames are sliding scale. And I can say, find this database. This is a SharePoint database that I've selected. Restore it to this time, and basically, I can then optionally to a specific transaction and find this inserted row. Now, if you're not a DBA, this would be great. If you are a DBA, you know what? You might still have your script. You might use it. You might not. This, by the way, is still going to be a free tool, right, Doug? Yeah. So that's wicked powerful. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure exactly because we haven't <coughs> promoted it yet. I don't know. Um, because the next button, which I'm not showing you, <laughs> is uh, what do you want to do with it? Do you want to put it back in the database? Do you want to generate a SQL script? Those are the types of things that may or may not be in the free, do you want to build a new database by itself, standalone? Those are the types of things that may be free versus enterprise and higher. We don't know yet. So just stay so tuned. In the, in the operation column there, it would identify checkpoints too? I believe so because there would be the database marked as being backed up at some point, but you can't really put that back in. So you would ideally you know can, the time. But you can script checkpoints without the backup. You, you can just create quiesce points, which... You could go to a transaction before. I don't know if that type would show up in well, the operation. You, you can in the SQL server say, you know, quiesce every 15 minutes and insert a checkpoint. Yes. Yeah, okay, I'm aware without, of that. Without making the backup. Correct, and then the, pro the problem, you know, this is the classic CDP problem. Exactly. If I can restore to any point in time, how do I decide what point in time I want to restore to? Because it might not have been committed from the logs. And and so, you know, if I knew I had this tool, mm -hmm. then I could t put a are, script. These are at the transaction level, right? Th these this is reading that sub job. Yeah, but but you can't, you can't changed. see. It's not the transaction level, it's yeah. the event level. Uh, well, that, okay, the, the operation was Those inserted, inserted row. rows is a partial okay. transaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't see where the or, whole transactions right. are and transactions overlap. Right, right. Or but, if, or, but or if, if I had this kind of tool, in. I could tell my SQL server every 15 this minutes, very dangerous quiesce tool. and insert a checkpoint, and then restore to the 15 minute point right. very easily. I think what you're that, saying, Ray, is you, you Unless you know exactly how the app application is writing that data, you don't know what you should or shouldn't be restoring onto. Yeah, very right. dangerous tool. My personal approach, honestly, would be to start up and work down. If I don't know the app, yeah. okay, very on dangerous. possible transactions. Well, but I'll you know what? Like what you said, the, just do it somewhere else. You know, the, the other uh, that's yeah. An the problem is even if you restore to a virtual lab, you'll never know 
yeah. if you're inconsistent. Well, I guess the number, depends depending on the number of change, transactions. It, really? Right. Well, I mean, yeah, depending on the number of transactions and just, you know, if it's an ERP system and, and you restored the, <sighs> reduce the quantity on hand, but you didn't restore the sales order line item that went with it. level. If it was at the transaction level, at least you could come up to a consistent point of... Uh, yeah, yeah but, but SQL Server doesn't log that way. Uh -huh. And and the the whole database, you know, that transaction A is complete, transaction B is happening at the same time and may not be complete. But if you They're can get it to the point of transaction A rather than the instance where transaction B started, but but transaction A started, then transaction B started, then yeah. transaction A ended, yeah, 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 yeah. then transaction C started, well, then transaction B. You're right. B. And, and just, just to be They're fair, sequential. I don't see seconds here. I only see the minute. Okay. What is the RPO? And what's the, you know, the acceptable, or the, what's the acceptable yeah, RPO? How much data loss is acceptable? What do DBAs think this, about this? <laughs> well, that's a good question. That, that's a good Have you question. actually talked to a DBA about what, what you're doing here? I'm because not. they're going to be in my office yelling at me. Because uh, we're just storage now, Not because I can get their backup when back, I, but because the app is screwed. When know? I have a beta, I'm going to be giving it to DBAs. Okay. I don't have a beta. I have a screenshot. Okay. Okay. I think that's the best answer we've Fair had. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> I'm, really not, giving, I'm so really not giving you crap. This is feedback. You should ask the people that I, I agree. this really matters to. I'm sure that's and been done, that but it's not been done uh, by me. You know, uh, uh, but the other Ray is getting after here too because right. yeah, yeah. But but this isn't the only way out of a jam, right? You you don't this isn't even required. I'm just saying it's there. Oh, you don't but, but you don't want to make you don't want to make the problem worse yeah. is the thing, you know? Yeah, like, well this yeah. is but, this but is I, clearly the tool you use when you're going if I restore to my last backup, I'm going to lose my job. Yeah. Yeah. And so now I have to s restore to after my last backup yeah. and see how well I can recover from this disaster. Without losing my job. It's kind of like I think the other, the other point. Things <laughs> have gone downhill already, yeah. and the question is just how much can you recover, not no, can you get it right. Exactly. You, exactly. you should yeah. not yeah. touch yeah. this. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's not an option sometimes, yeah. you know? Yeah. I mean, and, yeah. yeah. No, no, some, sometimes or, You know going, what, think if you have an application, you've got a vendor on the phone with support, say, hey, dude, something happened at 12.44 p.m. I can go to 12.43. That's an option that, that would come. What were you going to say? So you, you, asked, if, you asked if we'd ask yeah. DBAs. Yeah. Um, the interesting thing, DBAs aren't our primary target for this feature. Yeah. And, and I'll tell you why, because Good. DBAs, Good. they already know how to do all this stuff, well, and they're doing they it today. Right, well, they, yeah, DBA, DBAs like, like, can play the logs forward, the, yeah. can restore the logs and play the logs correct, forward. Correct, like, and like you, like you said, Howard, they're already doing a dump and you're backing up that dump, so that probably won't change. Where this will help out, is like you said, is in an IT department that doesn't have a lot of yeah. SQL experience, they don't have a DBA, but they've got this SQL database that they use right. for something, yeah. Yeah, well, and they, they need they to restore it back, not from last night's backup. They got the SQL database they use for sales, and yeah. they got a backup from right. last night, and at 5 o'clock, the database crashes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And frankly, you would rather have all the orders and fill them, mm -hmm. even if your inventory isn't right, than lose all the orders and Absolutely. piss off all those yeah, customers. It's, 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 what's yeah. the RPO? Well, that's it, the question. It seems we've talked yeah. ourselves in a circle here again. Yeah. You no, know, no, and that's cool. You know, like it's yeah. just, yeah. That, that, no, comes, just, that comes down yeah, to. I, I think you and Lauren basically saying, you know, that this is. Yeah. You, re you the, restore to broken boards. Or the IT broken. generalist. Yeah. <coughs> Not to say, yeah, what the problem is here, but the problem is, yeah, the little <laughs> <coughs> setups. Yeah. Okay. Okay. From my uh, experience, cool. when I get a request, I restore the database from when they say, hey, something happened. Um, can you restore from last night's backup? I give them the latest backup, DBAs take over, they do whatever. Oh, yeah. it wasn't in there. Can you go to the next day? Right. Give them the next day. Right. I mean, that's usually, I mean, if you have a DBA on staff, they'll, they'll handle, you right. know, the, the finer details. We just say, when do you need the last, you know, backup? Right. But that's assuming application competency at that yes, level. Yes, and if you don't, and I've worked in shops where there's no, you know, DBA. Yeah. It's like, yeah. well, you restore what you got, and you know, you light a little candle and right. <laughs> the fingers dance around a little bit. Exactly. Well, we got to keep going, guys. Great feedback, by the way. I'm sure we're going to replay and talk about this at length. Um, really quick, I'm sorry. Yes, please. Does Veeam come with the candle? 
<laughs> no, no, you have to get so your. You have to, you have to buy your own candles. Roadmap. You have to get your own salt. Right. You got to draw your own pentagram. But find us at an event near you. You might get a beer koozie, which is yeah, just. You as have to good. do that when you've so, installed yeah. the server. So I want to, I want to <laughs> talk briefly about um, Exchange. Um, Exchange wasn't. I'm not going to show anything. I, I mentioned there's new features for our Veeam Explorer for Exchange. So Ray asked earlier, a couple Twitter questions. What does our Veeam Explorer Explore for Exchange do, much like the Active Directory one I showed, we crack open the Exchange database. It's a great e-discovery tool. Who sent this email to this person with this attachment uh, to these people between this time frame? Especially if you don't have an e-discovery tool. It's a great option. Oh yeah, it does recovery option as well. You could recover a whole database, you could recover a whole user, you could recover the whole VM, but that might not be what you want to do. That's okay. That's okay. You might just need the data. If you got an application person who can handle it, let's, let's use it. Just saying, you have options. What's coming is a way that what I showed you with like Active Directory, that can be done in our web interface for application administrators. So that SQL thing I showed you is going to have a web UI front end and it, uh, the new exchange bit so that, that maybe you have an exchange administrator that's not the backup administrator. They want that cool tool but they don't wanna, you don't want them logging into the backup console to do it. Cool little thing coming, that's just a little note. We haven't talked at length about the, um, we haven't, uh, I don't even have a screenshot, that's what I'm trying to tell you. So, <laughs> for the exchange tool. <laughs> I've just got that sentence. So, um, but it's based on the logic of what we call the file restore operator. We have this great way that help desks can restore files without having permissions to where the file came from without having permissions in VMware or Hyper-V, without having permissions in the backup architecture, and without the ability to see the file. Yet if the CEO calls and said, I need my payroll file restored from backup, the help desk can do that without snoping and looking at that content. Very good control for that use case, the file restores. Same thought is that the SQL and Exchange admins can do Exchange stuff without seeing all the rest of the backup infrastructure, VMware infrastructure, et cetera. Okay, thank you everyone. Uh, that concludes our Tech Field Day presentation today. Thank you. <laughs>